Hi, I'm Dr. Mimi Guarneri, and it's my absolute uh, pleasure to welcome to Pacific Pearl La Jolla and Guarneri Integrative Health, Dr. Jeff Mursky. Uh, Jeff, I, I just have to say, Jeff was my chiropractor before he came here. And for many, many years, I asked him to come and join us at Pacific Pearl, uh, but he was busy in his own practice. So now we're thrilled to have you, Jeff. Thank you so much. I'm grateful actually to be with this group. Um, I've been practicing now for about 40 years. And 40 years? 40 years. You don't even look 40 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I, was only, I was only four years old when I started. <laughs> but the opportunity, you know, to, to work with a group of this stature, you know, is, is really great. I've been a solo practitioner for many years, but to have the camaraderie of everybody for the type of expertise that you people have is really incredible. So I think I can lend, you know, and expand with you guys, and uh, it's really my privilege. Well, welcome aboard, and I have I have some specific questions for you. Sure. So uh, when I went to medical school, we learned nothing about the musculoskeletal system other than the nerves of the muscles. We didn't learn about the interaction. We used to joke about the song, the hip bones connected to the knee bone and so on. Chiropractors are really the ones that are, if, you, if I might say the gurus in this area of musculoskeletal conditions and diseases. Uh, and med Western medicine, the way I was trained, really is failing here. And we're doing way too many, in my opinion, back surgeries. Uh, it's one thing if somebody has an injury and you have to do a surgery or a disc that's completely out causing paralysis, surgery could be life-saving. Uh, but what's shocking to me is that we do all these surgeries, many of which are truly unnecessary. And um, I have a lot of my patients who say to me, I'm afraid to go to the chiropractor. You know, what is that about? Well, I think people are afraid of getting what we call high velocity thrusts. Which high is velocity. High yeah. velocity, which is no slang term, cracking. Cracking, okay. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, we try not to crack too many people up, but, um, you know, there are many techniques in chiropractic, and I think that most people get thrown under the bus with everyone else. So if my chiropractor is doing manipulation, everyone's doing manipulation. It, it is a primary thing that we learn in school, but my my feeling is is that there's a time and a place, and for people who have degenerative changes and things that warrant you know lesser techniques, there are many low force and non force te force techniques that we can use uh, to ameliorate a lot of these pain uh, things that people are coming in with. In fact, the number one reason that people go to a medical office is back pain. So when you look at the whole literature, you know, chiropractic really is one of the most studied forms of treatment out there and very, very effective for musculoskeletal. And the military, the whole VA system, recognizes chiropractic as one of the first things right. with acupuncture and massage as a, as a first tier of right. treatment uh, for discomfort. And I have to say that I have had many treatments by you and I've never felt like I was being quote unquote cracked. I was never concerned. I used to have the fear of anyone touching my neck. I always say I only let Dr. Mursky touch my neck uh, when it comes to any gentle manipulation. Um, and I think what a lot of people don't realize is even more than the back, it's also the whole cranial facial bone structure, right? I mean, you work a lot in that area. So that's one of your expertise. Right, so when you consider chiropractic, most people think we're bone doctors, but we really are nerve doctors. So mm -hmm. we're more in, in line with the neurologist than we do an orthopedic. And the cranium basically houses the brain, which is the main operating system. So from a pain standpoint, Many drugs really work by interfering with those receptors that the brain recognizes as pain. So we can do that from a natural standpoint. Cranial is very important to me because I don't think you can have the house without the roof. And so most chiropractors only treat from the neck down. So one of the specialties that I've taken on along the way, and, and I've been teaching it for many years across the United States, is uh, cranial manipulation, which is uh, can be done outside uh, on the cranium and inside the mouth. There are many different ways to move the cranium 
but I find it essential to balance the rest of the skeletal system. So that's what I use on a regular basis. You know, I call you the chiropractor's chiropractor. You know, that would not because you have been teaching for quite a long time. Yes. Right? Yeah, so I've been out there probably for about 35 years teaching. Um, I think it hones my own skills. Yeah. It, it makes me better at what I do. And I think that in my experience in many years of treating lends to um, giving it to other chiropractors so they don't have to figure it out like I did all these years. Right, right. And uh, I enjoy it. I like doing it. And the other, the other thing that I think is interesting about you is I've seen chiropractors with a full parking lot and people come in every 15 minutes, get something and go, something and go, something and go. But you take that full hour, hour and a half. I know my sessions with you, by the way, I come out feeling high, like I've had some sort of drug. I think yeah. it goes back to that neurotransmitter concept you're talking about. Right. Um, your sessions are much longer, so can you describe what you're doing there? Yes, so most people that come in are in pain and they are hyped. So we call that sympathetic overload. Yeah. So the nervous system has two portions. One is fight or flight, which is where we live, most of us, and then parasympathetic, which is rest, relaxation, sleep, digestion, elimination. So most people will have an overabundance of, of of imbalance there. So I like to calm the system down and I don't like to rush anybody through treatment. It's not a five minute session. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be in with me for a while. There's a lot of soft tissue work that I do. I do a lot of fascial release work um, and I wanna put the body into a better state before I start to move things around and eliminate uh, some of the, dis the discomfort. And uh, so there's a, a certain pattern that I look for in most people. And if they fit it, and they do most of the time, I can really take it to uh, another level for them and increase their endorphin releases and get them to that state of parasympathetic state. Right, and that's why I feel that relaxed state when I come out of the treatments, right? right. Exactly. Yeah, putting the body there. So if you were to say, what would be your top five um, conditions, if you might, that you can say, hey, get on in, come on in and get yourself taken care of. Because from the Western perspective, you know, we can give drugs, we're giving all sorts of medications, but I really feel like this piece of the puzzle is missing, which I'm so glad we have you at the Pearl now to fill that missing gap. Right. Well, of course, anybody that has chronic pain, especially skeletally related, whether it be neck, mid, lower back, Extremities, I work on hands, feet, uh, knees, especially. A lot of people have knee problems, hip problems, uh, headaches, um, visual changes, tinnitus, uh, dysphagia, uh, problem swallowing, right. um, hearing issues. So there's a lot of things that we can do you know, on a natural basis to actually bring the body into a state of balance. I'm laughing to myself because the other day I asked you to put the bone in my foot back <laughs> in because I felt like the arch of my foot literally came down an inch and it was hurting and you just went and popped it back in with your, I guess you call it the activator, right? right? And uh, I haven't had any pain since. So I think uh, people do think of the back but forget about the whole cranial facial um, the whole headache piece, the whole cervical spine piece, the muscle spasm piece, the shoulders. I mean, there's benefit that can be seen anywhere uh, throughout the nervous system, the musculoskeletal system. I try to be as comprehensive as I can. And I think I have an array of tools, you know, to use in a general manner and be very thorough. So, you know, I like working, uh, uh, with any age group, uh, we, we have a mix here. And mm -hmm. I think, you know, I can lend to any condition, pretty much. And I notice you're also looking at the MRIs, you're looking at the x-rays, you're reading the reports. I, yes. I see you going through them quite thoroughly. Right. So you know what's going on, if there's any imaging and so on, which is great. Right, so chiropractors have a big background in looking at x-rays, MRIs and CT scans, and uh, I also have background in clinical nutrition, so I blend in well with everybody here. I know how to look at blood tests, 
and it all is part of the healing process of the body. You have to look at everything. So I think, you know, again, using these tools uh, from a skeletal standpoint is essential for me. Well, I want to say we're thrilled to have you. Finally, you. we have you. I've been waiting for a long time to yes. have a, a chiropractor of your level doing the work that you're doing. So welcome aboard thank and you. Uh, thanks for being with us. All right. Thank you so much.